YouTube, it's your girl Lynn, back with another video. Welcome to my channel, Shortcut Cooking with Lynn. Before we get into our video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so that you get notifications for when we drop a video. Today we have for you lasagna. Not just any lasagna, we have lazy lasagna, which of course is a shortcut way of fixing lasagna. Let's get started. Let's get into our video. Okay, so here are our ingredients that we will be using today. We have minced garlic, celery seed, Italian seasoning, parsley flakes, garlic powder, and onion powder. And we have red pepper seed, some salt, our onions and green pepper. We are using two pounds of ground turkey. We are using two cans of tomato sauce. We are using penne pasta. I usually make my lazy lasagna with rotini or penne, but I do prefer penne first. We are using Italian cheese and sharp cheddar. And we are also using spinach. I don't always add a vegetable, but it's, a sh it's Lynn's shortcut way. So instead of fixing a vegetable separate, we're gonna add it and incorporate it into our dish. Okay, as you can see, we have our ground turkey in the pan browning. Make sure you preheat your oven to 375. And we have our water on for our pasta. We added about a teaspoonful of oil in the water to make sure our pasta doesn't stick. And we added about a tablespoon and a half to this pan before we added our ground turkey. We're not going to add much seasoning to the ground turkey. Most of the seasoning will come once we add our tomato sauce, but I am going to put just a little garlic, garlic powder in. Just to give the meat some flavor. Maybe just a little pepper. Some flavor before we add the tomato sauce. Just going to burn our meat completely. We can add in our veggies, our onions, and our green peppers. And now we're just going to let those veggies get tender and let our meat brown. And this brown in our meat. And we are getting ready to add our sauce. But before we add our sauce, I'm going to put my teaspoon full of minced garlic in. I'm going to turn our heat down to low. Start adding our sauce. to add our seasonings, our onion powder, which we have a tablespoon and a half, our garlic powder, also a tablespoon and a half. We have our red pepper seed, our salt, and I also have a few pinches of sugar mixed in this. Now the sugar you don't want your sauce to be sweet. The sugar is only used just to cut down on the acid that is in the tomato sauce, but it shouldn't be sweet. It should not taste like a dessert. Okay, we're gonna add our parsley, which is a tablespoonful. 
And that's basically just for decoration. Okay. And add our celery seed. And our Italian seasoning. And we also had a teaspoonful of pepper mixed with that. Just going to stir and incorporate it all in. And we're going to cover it and let it sit. We're going to let it simmer probably for about 15 minutes. Okay, we have our pasta boiling and our pasta is going to be out then today. We're only going to cook it for about five to six minutes. Because remember, it's going in the oven, so we don't want to overcook our pasta. Okay, our pasta is ready and our sauce is ready, so it's time to start building our lazy lasagna. So, our first layer is going to be our meat sauce. Next, we're going to put some penne. And some people stir theirs all, all together. I like to layer mine just like I do with lasagna. Again, a layer of meat sauce. Smooth that out. Now, one ingredient that I forgot to tell you guys about is one of the main ingredients in lasagna, and that is ricotta. So we're going to add our ricotta. Just put quite a few big dollops down, and then kind of smooth it out. to make sure I get it all over so there is some in every bite. Okay, now we are going to smooth that out. If you have your ricotta sitting out, maybe for about 15 or 20 minutes before spreading it. Of course, I did not, so that's why it's taking me a little longer to spread it. And on top of that ricotta, we will put some of our sharp cheddar.
incorporate our vegetable. A nice layer of spinach. And then we're just going to keep building. We're going to do another layer of sauce, then another layer of cheese, pasta, sauce, until you have completely filled your pan. Lazy lasagna is finished and ready to go into the oven. As you can see, I put it on a sheet pan and covered the sheet pan in foil. I did that just in case our lasagna decides to bubble over. That way the sheet, can, sheet pan can catch everything and you don't have to worry about your oven getting messy. We're going to put it in the oven. We're going to cover it with foil. We're going to put it in the oven for 45 minutes. Okay, our lazy lasagna is out of the oven. It is cooked for 45 minutes. So now we're gonna take our foil off. And we are gonna add a layer of cheese on top. We're gonna mix the Italian and the shark cheddar together. Just a nice layer of cheese on top. And then we will put it back into the oven but this time we're going to change and put our oven on broil and we'll put it under there just until our cheese starts to get a little brown on top. And I can't give you a time, you know, how long it'll take for the cheese to get brown because when you put something in the oven on broil, it happens quickly. So you just need to stand there and kind of keep watch make sure you're not going to burn it. But it usually takes, if your oven is already hot and you put it on broil, it usually takes about a minute or less. Oh, it's getting ready to put the wrong cheese on. I have to go get the Italian cheese out. I get those edges good because just like with macaroni and cheese, my family likes the crispy dark edges. Okay, so now we're going to put it back in the oven for broil. On broil. Okay, guys, here is our finished product. Our lazy lasagna. Okay, so that is the end of our video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so that you get notifications when we drop a video. Thank you. Love you guys. See you next video.